Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been kind of crazy in the world lately with this coronavirus going around, but I want to continue creating content, especially for YouTube, because if this video or any of my videos in the next couple weeks helps just one person kind of escape and feel a little less stressed with the world going on, then it was 110% worth creating. But for today's video, it's going to be a tutorial on the look you see here, which is this really nice cut crease kind of smoky eye situation. So as per usual, I will have all of the products I use listed in the description box below, as well as I will have a clip of what this looks like in natural lighting at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I already have my lid set with some concealer and powder, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this Milani Soft and Sultry Palette. And I'm going to use my usual BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Brush number 8. It's this really nice little fluffy crease blending brush. And I'm first going to go into this medium brown shade and I'm going to put that in my crease area. So now I'm just going to take this Morphe M321 brush which is a very light, fluffy, tapered brush, and I'm gonna to continue to build up that medium brown shade, focusing it because this has a better point to it. I'm gonna make sure I have my eye shape like in the front really carved out how I like it. So I have that medium brown shade now. I see it kinda of like carved out my eye area. So now I'll go back in with this same brush and I will just very lightly go in with this lighter brown shade right next to it. So this is the shade I just used, so now I'm going to go in with this lighter shade and I'm going to focus that along the edge of where I just put that brown because it's going to help kind of smooth it out and make it look more blended. Alright, so I'm sure you can tell that adding that lighter brown made a huge difference on the edges. It just makes it look a lot more like blended and soft and diffused. But I'm going to go back into the Milani palette. This time I'm going to use this Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH39 brush because it's denser so it's going to give me a lot more color. And I'm going to go in with this dark brown down here and I'm going to focus it in this area right here. So I put that darker brown just right there as you can see, so I'm going to go back in with my Morphe M321 brush, which is that nice fluffy brush with the nice point to it, and I'm going to go back in with that darker brown again, the one I just put here, except I'm going to bring it upwards a little bit and just kind of softly blend it out in this outer crease area right here. So I just cleaned off that little Morphe brush real quick, so I'm going to go back in with this medium brown I was using the first shade I used earlier to put in my crease. I'm going to take that color again and I'm going to put it along this edge and just kind of deepen up my crease a little bit more. So now I'm just going to dip into that medium brown I've been using with the JH39 and I'm just going to put it along this border right here. So before I cut my crease, I'm actually going to use this same JH39 brush and I have some of that medium brown on there. And I'm just going to put that shade along my lower lash line, focusing it on like the outer half of my eye. And what that's going to do is it's going to make my eye look really round and bright and awake. And then I will go in after that with a darker brown. So now I'm just taking that darker brown that I've been using on the small little detail brush. As you can see, I put it just right on the tip of the brush right there. That's going to help with accuracy and putting it down. So I'm just going to put this like right along the lower lash line, just focusing on the outer part of the eye. So I'm going to take that same dark brown again on that little detail brush. 
and I'm gonna make sure I apply it like right here just to make sure that this area blends in with this area and they kind of connect with one another on the outer part of the eye. So now I think I'm ready to cut my crease. I'm just gonna take a Q-tip with some micellar water and I'm just going to essentially cut my crease just on my lid right here and remove any makeup that's in that area just so that when I do cut my crease with concealer, it's not gonna mix with those shadows and get kind of muddy looking. So now I have that lid space kind of cleaned off as you can see, so I'm going to go in with an acrylic paintbrush, which is my favorite tool to use for cut creases, as well as this CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer right here, and this is in the shade L100 Fair Porcelain, and I'm just going to use that concealer to go over that empty space I now have to cut my crease. So now I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with this beige shade over here in the palette just to set that concealer so it doesn't transfer onto the shadow above it. So if you want you can leave the lid matte just like that and just leave it and you're done. But I think I'm going to use some shimmer because the shimmers in this palette are really really pretty. Yeah, I just I have to use them. <laughs> So I'm going to go in with my trusty NYX Glitter Primer and I'm going to use my finger just to kind of dab this all over the lid where I put that concealer. So now that I have that primer down, I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to use this lightest shimmer right here at the top of the palette and I'm going to apply that just all over the lid. So I'm going to go back in with the palette with my finger again, I have it wiped off, and I'm just going to go in with this darker shimmer down here, and I'm going to focus that on the outer part of that lighter shimmer that I just put down, right, like in this area right here. So I'm going to do some liner and lashes and all that fun stuff off camera, and I will be right back. Alright, so I have returned. I did a few things off camera. I used some NYX eyeliner in jet black on my bottom waterline, just on the outer part of my eye. I also used some Sephora waterproof felt liner just for the top, and then I also used my favorite mascara, which is the Maybelline The Falsies for my upper and lower lashes. And then my final step was I put on some Kiss Lashes in the style called Shy. Alright, so final step is highlight. So I'm going to take this little detail brush I was using earlier, except I wiped off any shadow that could have been on there, and I'm going to go in with my Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlight Palette, and I'm going to use this shade right here, and I'm going to put that on my usual places, which are my inner corner and my brow bone. So here is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, it would mean a lot to me if you liked and or subscribed. But I will insert a clip of what this looks like in natural lighting, and I will see you all in my next video.